What's up, guys? We're back. Podcast 203, the red light is on. I'm Dave Enoch, and I'm back on the show. Undefeated flyweight. Last time we talked, I think he was 2-0. and Now 3-0. and All first, uh, all finishes in that flyweight division. Co-main event in peak 30 on July 15th, the relentless DJ Quick Jackson. What's up, Devon? Yep. How you doing, my man? You know what it is. Can't stop, won't stop. Shoot. I'm staying active, staying busy. Excited for this next bout. I've been waiting quite a minute, so... Glad to get the opportunity. Absolutely, man. Yeah, it's a good fight, man. I love the fight. I looked into it. Uh, so us here at Fight Bananas, we've been doing a lot of stuff with Peak Fighting Championship over the last three, four months. Really love the organization. Um, they're doing big things. They've, uh, they're have they like one of those. Uh, I don't know if you've ever seen the prices, right? They're like that thing that keeps going up and up and up. Yeah. Like that. Um, Really like them. So when did you get connected with them? When did you hear about this matchup? This is a great fight. This is a really good high-level fight right before – uh, you know, a big organization. Yeah, uh, I literally, we've been struggling to get a fight. Uh, I've had multiple opponents say they wanted to fight and then it doesn't come down to it. And so right. I literally, I gave the green light to anybody and everybody. And so I took, I think it took one, one little comment on a Facebook post and it just kind of worked itself out. The timing was right. Uh, they needed somebody to fill in and psh, did she stay ready? Hey, no need to get ready. So we're ready to go for action here in the next two weeks. Beautiful. Yeah, it's a big fight, like I said. Uh, Colton uh, Loud is his name. Uh, he's 3-0 as well. He's like a peak guy. Uh, I think he's all three of his wins is under that peak banner. Does that, uh, as me, I was, uh, you know, back in the heyday, you know, back in the day, used to play a little bit of basketball. I used to love playing on the road. I used to love, uh, you know, closing the mouths of the, uh, you know, the opponents fans do you kind of like that kind of going in uh, into hostile territory and almost shutting the mouths of the peak fans and of his home crowd and all of that do you do you feel like you got that mojo being the uh you know an enemy territory it's always like that i'm always <laughs> feeling, i'm always the underdog i feel like they always bring me in to lose okay. but it's it's i, I always shh, can't stop won't stop don't 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 count me out because i'm gonna come out there and shock y'all I always go out there to try to go put on a show. I'm an entertainer. So I hope everybody's ready to see some fireworks. Absolutely. They will. Uh, they, they can uh, make sure they can catch it. It's July 15th. They can watch it on Peak Pass exclusively. 3-0 uh, and oh now, um, Devon. Getting close. You know, the Contender Series is in the summer. Perfect time, I know. Right at the end of August. Yes, sir. Uh, do you think, is that is that kind of the goal? Are you kind of eyeing that a little bit? You never want to look forward. I know that the first fight's in front of you. I know that. But is that something you're kind of eyeing a little bit late summer? Yeah, uh, it's something I've been trying to, like I said, I've been trying to get to that next fight because I, I know they're looking for guys that are like a little bit more into their record. And yeah. it's not upon me. I've been trying to get a fight. I've been, like my last fight, I didn't get in the cage for that long. I was in there for a minute. Right. So I was looking for her to get a quick turnaround and it just didn't turn out that way. But uh, I stayed determined. I continued to put in the training and the main thing was just staying healthy. Uh, you can stay healthy, stay act active in the gym. Then opportunities like this that present themselves, then, hey, I, like you said, contenders is right around the corner. Hey, I come take this interim title. They gave me a call up. Shoot, you never know. You might see me on there real soon. Yeah, for sure. And then especially for flyweight, I don't know why. I just think it's a... Uh... There was a stigma for so long years ago, and then there was like a little with DJ moving on to one, and then they weren't sure. The UFC loves finishers. I, I think that's why they loved Figueredo so much and Brandon Moreno. And that moreno Patejo uh, match coming up in July, I do want to ask you about that in a second. I think the UFC absolutely loves finishers as flyweights, and that's you. You got three fights as a pro, three finishers. If you go and do business there, I think they would look at you. I think they would be like, hey, 4-0. Four finishes as a flyweight. I think you are a live, uh, you know, someone to be on the contender or a short notice fight in the fall of 2023. I, I see that. Shoot. I'm trying to go win me a bonus, boss. And then my kind of next question is about the UFC is, is it, are you kind of a lot of fighters? It is UFC or bus, or are you just looking at a, any major organization? Are you okay with a Bellator or a one FC or are, are you okay with any major high level organization? Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm open doors. Uh, I always try to present myself with every opportunity. Uh, but yeah, I'm just trying to get to that next level. Uh, I, the reason I became a, became a fighter is I'm trying to motivate and elevate the people that are around me. 
And so I know there's a lot of people that don't believe and they're like, oh, that's that's a cool goal. And I'm like, I always have to check them. I'm like, bro, this ain't a, gr- uh, a goal. This is my career. This is what I'm about to do. Right. I, I might. There's no path is direct. There's always going to be road bumps. But hey, I like you said, I, I've put in the time. I've got my three finishes and I continue to try to keep that O as best as I can. And wh- whoever wants to come with the best offer, or best opportunity that fits Sue at the time. Hey, I'm just going to have to run with it. Uh, okay. Either or one UFC Bellator, as you see, DJ kind of did his thing with UFC, and then he's even more prosperous with one. And I think it kind of solidified his his career, being able to be the champ on both organizations. So, hey, I, I'm anything's possible. I agree with you right there. Let's just kind of stick with DJ. I think we talked about him last time you were on. The run that he's had with one FC to me has elevated his career immensely. Like he he was always an all time great, and he was kind of on that in that top ten. And then he went to one FC, and now he's arguably the top four, top three, maybe the greatest of all time. I think the one FC has elevated them, and, and, and I think it's great. It's just another uh, it gives another uh, platform, another opportunity for flyweights or just all fighters. So I I love that one FC has given that, and now I don't know if you've been noticing. One FC's had two, um, you know, times in in America, so now they're coming yep. to America more often. So I think that's great for everyone involved. So I, I think there's a lot of big things for One FC coming uh, in the future. Of course, of course, yeah. That's me, like I said, I'm just trying to make that next step, so then I can kind of solidify making that transition. And I've always believed that I can hang with anybody in the game. Now it's just giving me the opportunity to show it. So. Uh, tell the people where you're at right now. You have a beautiful background. We've kind of talked off air a little bit about it. Uh, tell the people where you're at and what you're doing right now. I'm at the beautiful Montana intensive camp, wrestling camp. I'm here with my squad. I'm the head coach at Pasco over in Tri-Cities, but we traveled our way from Washington all the way to Montana. We've been here for a week, camping out, waking up at 6 a.m., coming to two to three sessions during here, and then enjoying the rest of the day in the afternoon. Yesterday, we were at the water park. But right now we're at a break. Everybody's having lunch. And so now I'm on here talking to you. Hey, appreciate appreciate the time. Um, okay, let's get into that question. I, I think it's a really high-level flyweight matchup coming up in a couple of weeks now. I think it's actually a week before your fight. Pantoja on 2-0 against Brandon Moreno. Co-main event, just like yourself. Uh, where do you see that fight going? Do you think Moreno will get finally that win against Pantoja? Or do you think Pantoja will go 3-0 against Brandon Moreno? Mm, I don't know. But it's Brandon's been working on his hands, as you've seen. And yeah. I feel like the more he continues to get more comfortable, he gets more dangerous. And so uh, he's good on the ground. He's able to create scrambles. And so I think it's just him with another opportunity to just to kind of go show him putting it all together. So I, I think if, if it all, if he's able to, yeah, I'm pretty sure he'll be able to come out with that win. Very true. Okay. I like it, my man. Hey, I appreciate your time. Um, best of luck to you. It's crazy. We got around two weeks left. Peak fighting championship. Two, two weeks. weeks. Peak fighting championship. Thirty co-main event versus a very high-level, tough opponent in Colton Loud. Uh, cannot wait to watch it. Make sure you watch it on Peak Pass exclusively. Hey, Devon, appreciate your time. We'll talk soon. All right, my man. We'll of talk course. after your win. I right, appreciate your time. You already know what it is. She All right, can't my man, stop. Be good. Won't stop. <laughs>